It's time for morning prayers in Mogadishu, and security forces are just wrapping up a nighttime raid. Somali special forces have rounded up 10 suspected members of the al-Qaeda-linked militant group al-Shabaab. The group is accused of assassinating government officials in the city. Colonel Farah Ali says the suspects were targeted based on inside information. We are not looking for just anyone. We are looking for al-Shabaab. We have intelligence from people on the ground about them. We are not harassing any other people except al-Shabaab and al-Qaeda. Soldiers from the Amazon peacekeeping mission work hand-in-hand -hand with Somali military and police to bring security to violence-wracked Mogadishu. Former militants also help by locating and confirming the identities of the suspects, according to an Amasam officer who declined to be named. Screening is going to take place later <coughs> on, and then using the very guys, the defectors, those ones we've captured, some of the ones to come and assist us in identifying this is so-and-so, -so, this is so-and-so. -so. Somali military officials say they have carried out about 50 of these raids in the past three months, intelligence being one of the most effective tools against an elusive enemy. But elsewhere, Somali forces are struggling. Al-Shabaab has been on the losing end of Amasam's military operations during the past few years, but Somali forces have struggled to maintain control over territory reclaimed from the militants. A lack of equipment and resources, as well as reports of corruption and the diversion of weapons, have all added to the military's woes. The head of Somali Armed Forces, Brigadier General Dahir Adan Elmi, says the military still hopes to take full control of security from Amazon in the next two years. In any way, we are planning to take over in 2016. 2016 is the that we have. We will have at least 30,000 professional built army that can take over the security of this country, and we're working so hard, so hard actually, to reach that goal. One of the challenges is trying to restructure the army in the midst of ongoing operations. After serving on the front lines, these Somali soldiers are only now receiving basic weapons training. Here, under the watch of European Union trainers, they are learning to assemble PKM machine guns. But building a unified force is still difficult in such a troubled nation, says the head of the EU training mission, Colonel Jesus Gonzalez. Grew up, this generation grew up uh, during the war, so it's not easy for them and uh, the challenges are, are there. They have a, a background of working for a clan, for a militia, but they have not this uh, uh, spirit of unit of country yet. The biggest challenge yet for these soldiers may be in overcoming old clan divisions and learning to fight for one Somalia. The very future of the country depends on it. Gabe Joslow, VOA News, Mogadishu.